Hello! In this video, we will be discussing the principles of an ELISA and to go over the troubleshooting process for common problems that may occur. ELISA, which stands for Enzyme-Linked Immunosorbin Assay, is a technique used to quantify the presence of antigens in biological samples. An ELISA, like other types of immunoassays, relies on antibodies to detect a target antigen by using highly specific antibody-antigen interactions. In an ELISA assay, the antigen is immobilized to a solid surface. This is done either directly or via the use of a captured antibody itself immobilized on the surface. The antigen is then complexed to a detection antibody conjugated with a molecule amenable for detection, such as an enzyme or a fluorophore. An ELISA assay is typically performed in a multi-well plate, which provides the solid surface to immobilize the antigen. Immobilization of the analytes facilitates the separation of the antigen from the rest of the components in the sample. This characteristic makes ELISA one of the easiest assays to perform on multiple samples simultaneously. Some common problems that you may potentially come across with your ELISA is having a low signal or no signal at all, a high background, too high of a signal, and a poor standard curve. If you see your ELISA has no or low signal, your reagents may have been added in an incorrect order or incorrectly prepared. Repeat the experiment and make sure to closely follow the provided protocol and solution preparation for whatever kit you may be using to conduct your ELISA. Another reason for low or no signal may be that your biological sample does not fall within the detectable range. Fix this by performing serial dilutions of the sample and begin with a more concentrated sample for testing. A high background signal may be indicative of insufficient washing in between incubation steps or blocking. To fix this, you can increase the number and slash or duration of washes. You can also increase the blocking time and the concentration of the blocker. Protein blockers like BSA, casein, and gelatin bind to unoccupied sites on the ELISA plate and thereby prevent nonspecific binding. To reduce nonspecific binding, you can also use tween 20, a non-ionic detergent, at a concentration between 0.01 to 0.1%. A high background signal can also be attributed to a delay in reading the plate after the ELISA is completed, which can alter colorimetric detection and thereby result in unreliable data. Having too high a signal can be caused by the following. Insufficient washing can be indicative of many potential problems you may come across with your ELISA and can be avoided by using appropriate washing procedure. At the end of each washing step, invert the plate on absorbent tissue and allow it to completely drain, tapping forcefully if necessary to remove any residual fluid. Another issue may be due to the lack of using plate sealers. During incubations, cover assay plates with plate sealers and make sure to use a fresh sealer each time the plate is opened. This will prevent wells from contaminating each other. Correct dilutions may also be the cause of too much signal. Use proper pipetting techniques and double check your calculations. A resulting poor standard curve may be due to incorrect standard curve dilutions prepared. Again, double check your calculations and use proper pipetting technique. Proper technique is using the correct pipette that is within the range suggested by the manufacturer confirming the tip is firmly sealed on the pipette, confirming the absence of air bubbles while pipetting, changing tips between each standard, sample, or reagent, using different reservoirs for each agent, and always running samples in standards in replicate. Your capture antibody may also have not bound properly to the plate. Ensure that you are using an ELISA plate, which are optimized for optical measurements instead of a tissue culture plate. That concludes this video discussing major troubleshooting techniques used for common problems you may come across with your ELISA. Thank you for watching.